when you dress all professional for the day. And then he says, we're gonna move some stuff around in the mud. <sighs> Guess I'll go find my cubbies. a busy day. More water. Okay. Now let's get loaded. All right. At least it's got the radio. <laughs> Not that you guys can listen to that, but you know, it is what it is. <sighs> we are just kind of Doing some barn shop. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Ah, sorry guys, dropped y'all. Um, we're doing some barn shop cleanup today, anticipating for those piers to be poured for the shop edition. Um, did you guys think we forgot? Didn't show you? No. Uh, the whole COVID thing just slowed down the whole process, um, dramatically. And uh, it's been a little frustrating at times, but it's one step closer. So Jason hauled a bunch of rock this week to get that um, built up. And then we're just going to kind of do some cleanup because spring is coming and spring means spring cleanup. So, yeah, that's about all I know. Wait for direction. I guess I can turn this on. <sighs> This is the big skid loader. This is this, the track skids. I like this one a little bit better. Jason always has a radio on, so make sure it's not playing. Um, this one has the joysticks. Um, I like it a lot better. The other, this one has where you can use the foot feet or the joysticks, but most of the time, I think all the time, I don't know if Jason's ever used the foot feeds. Um, but this one runs off the joystick and the other skid loader, the three, uh, the, the 328D, um, is foot geared, um, and you drive with the joysticks. I just, I like this one a lot better. It's easier for me to maneuver around. It is a little bit bigger. Um, I have a hard time seeing out, like, I can't see very well to back out. So I have to like maneuver myself around in it. Um, I think the smaller skid loader is a little easier to back up in. Um, it sits a little bit different. That's personal preferences. Hmm. This one is all push button. I'm not very good at giving you the specs, but this is all push button electronical stuff, but it does have the quick attach, makes it super easy. Um, lights, I don't use the auxiliary. I usually just turn it on and turn it off and do whatever. But it does have heat and air and it works really nice. And a radio, which you guys don't get to listen to. So that's why I usually just listen to a podcast or motivational speaker or audiobook or something. Something or another. I'm into a self-development phase. Are y'all reading anything good? Listen to anything good? We don't really watch a lot of TV. We watch YouTube. Uh, we have a YouTube, I'd say family. Uh, we have a good, probably, I don't know, 10, 12 that we religiously watch and look forward to every single day. Um, Jason's got a few extra that he likes, and then I have a few, and then the kids have some. Um, so we don't really watch TV too much, especially during hay season and when it's nice. We are just outside until we come in at night and then we're all too tired. So we just shower and eat and go to bed, which is not the way it should be. Like our house is a home, but um, we just sleep there most of the time. But we're very blessed. Um, Jason and I talked to a group of sophomores this morning at his local school or he went to high school at and uh, it just made me realize just truly how blessed we are um, you know five years ago I never thought we would be doing what we're doing 
Um, it just didn't seem like it was ever going to work for me to not work a full-time job. Uh, that stability, you know, and having a, a 9 to 5 set schedule type thing. Um, when I left Jones, I never thought we would have the cattle that we have. Um, and I certainly never thought I would be talking to you guys. Um, this has definitely, definitely been a learning experience and a journey inside of itself. And I am thankful for you guys. I am thankful for the thumbs up. I'm thankful for the subscribers. I'm thankful for you guys watching and tagging along and viewing and just being a part of our farm story. It means a lot. Here comes Jason, so I guess I better get busy. Well, it's real, you know, it just, it, it does cost, you know. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, some people pay a square. I haven't seen it on those layers. All this is our? Uh, yeah, all without one of this. I'll take, take it. it. My feed lady's the best lady. Through the ringer. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, yeah. like giving them for treats. Because they keep the cows coming. Oh, yeah. We don't give them as feed feed. We just use them as uh, treats when we need them to move or oh, yeah. whatever. One day there might be mineral. The next day, like today I went over there to check them. And I mean, there's eight of them around the tub. Mm -hmm. It's like, now there ain't going to be none tomorrow. Yeah. You know? But so. the forages vary right. so much, even day right. to day. Right. That's what I wish more people would realize. Yep. Is they do go up yep. and down so mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Because it's soaking it up and then letting it out. Right. You know, every day. Depending yep. on their moisture. And the forages at the specific. Right, right. You know, feel. So, yeah, I get it. Yep. It just, I don't know. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Valor's got the big yellow tag. Good morning. Happy Friday. <sighs> Farmer Friday. FFA Friday. Um, it is FFA week. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough through these ladies. And then um, I have a back appointment this morning. Get that fixed up. It's long overdue. Okay. Something that he's got something up here. <sighs> nope, that's a tag, baby. I got all excited for nothing. <sighs> Doesn't he just look beautiful? You guys are gonna see more of his cute little face coming soon. Hi, Mama. Hi, lady. Patchy here. We are keeping him as a bull. Well, we keep everybody as a bull, but he's gonna stay that way. And then I got all excited because I thought this calf that we were having another one, but she just you know, have to watch her. She's not cleaned out as light like I would like. Anybody else had any surprises? No? Alright. Thank you for your cooperation. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, so I got Diamond saddled, and um, I actually, this is about the most dry place I have is up here on this uh, pad where the shop's gonna go. Um, so I'm gonna use it to my advantage today. Um, I'm gonna lunge line her with the saddle on her for a little bit. We'll see how it goes.
down. <laughs> This is not your collection area. Oh my goodness. Hi guys. Hello. Good morning. Doing okay, girl? Hmm? Doing all right, mama? Hmm? It's okay. You wanna give that baby to me today? Maybe? She's one of my favorites. Hmm. That feel good? Hmm. Yes. You are. Hmm. I love you too. You're so sweet. Yes. All right. Oh, you need a booty scratch? Need a booty scratch? Oh. I really hope she gives me a, a baldy heifer, but we'll see. She's getting closer. Butt scratches make everybody happy. Okay. Butt scratches make cows happy. Yes. Yes. Tell everybody go share the page. Yes. Yes. Make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like tagging along with us. Um, we're starting to get warmer outside, so we're going to be outside a lot more. Um, we're going to start getting equipment ready. Um, <laughs> hay seasons be right around the corner. And of course, lots and lots of cows. <sighs> it's going to be such a pretty day. So pretty. Guys, here. There you go. Get out of the food bowl. Goodness. 